watching Fox and Friends First Edition. Friday. It's the new movie that some say portrays God as an imposter. Uh, is the golden compass on the attack against Christianity? We'll have a fair and balanced debate. Less than a month, the Hollywood version of the book, The Golden Compass, will hit theaters. Critics claim the movie is filled with atheist themes that will lead our kids away from Christian Christianity. But is that true? Joining me with a fair and balanced debate, the chairman of the Christian Film and TV Commission, Dr. Ted Baer, and Ellen Johnson, the president of the American Atheists. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Dr. Bear, I want to start with you. Um, what the movie producers, New Line Cinema, has said is that they, they basically have stripped the movie version of a lot of the questionable themes that were in the book, The Moral Compass. So, so they've really softened any of the religious themes. And basically they're saying that it's just a fantasy for kids. Your thoughts? <laughs> well, it is a fantasy for kids. And, you know, I've been teaching for many years uh, cognitive development theory and media literacy. I do that uh, as a chairman of a little department at Berkeley. And uh, uh, there are a lot of themes in this book that you wouldn't want your children to pick up on, whether it's the uh, misperception of God as Satan or whether it's, uh, you know, Lyra being a liar. Or I have the book next to me in the last uh, chapter. She talks about killing her father. So I don't think that's something that most fathers want to hear about. So there's a a lot of things about this heroine, you know, when you ask who is the hero, there are good movies out there like Enchanted. I love the team at New Line. Their Kale Boyder is a good friend of mine. But I think this just, uh, there are too many things buried within here yep. uh, where Philip Pullman is wrestling with his own father's death and misperception that uh, has caused it not to be a positive uh, adventure for little children who are in the vulnerable stages okay, of Okay, let's bring in Ellen to talk about some of these themes. They, they say that the movie um, depicts the church kidnapping, torturing, assassinating to achieve its goals. One of the goals is stealing little children's souls. Possibly not the best subject matter for children to be saying. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, we haven't seen it. We haven't read the books. But if there are positive, enlightened, the positive, enlightened values of atheism, I'm all for it. I, I think that New Line Cinema jumped the gun. I think that uh, with 55 million Americans being non-religious, we want atheistic, positive, enlightened values and compassion of atheism in our movies. We want to see characters who ex who represent who we are. And so I think that they shouldn't have done. It. I think that when Hollywood picks up on that we'll see more movies like that but um, I'm not so sure that all of this is is really true I'm not so sure that uh, that, that it's a problem um, okay dr. bear do atheists deserve a voice in Hollywood well atheists get a lot of voice in uh, Hollywood you know movies with atheistic content last year that was overt uh, did about 16 million at the box office movies with good strong Jewish Christian content did about 182 million in the top 25 and movies with a positive mention of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior did 200 million at the box office that's because 151 million people go to church every week 83 percent of the public uh, considers itself Christian four percent of the public declares itself to be atheist okay, so if you're Rick, making given, movies I mean, for atheists <laughs> that's what you're Given all of that, I mean, one of the things that, that people have said is that by talking about this so much, that your organization is actually just drumming up publicity for a movie that you would prefer kids not go and see. Well, you know, when you're warning people, it's not drumming up publicity. You just warn people about poker chips. Yesterday, you warned people about toys that were being withdrawn from the market. Are you going to say that you're not going to warn people about toys that are being withdrawn from the market because they cause poisoning for kids? Okay, I mean, the point of warning people is to protect children gotcha. who are in vulnerable stages of cognitive development. Okay, just a few words. We don't have a few seconds. There's nothing to protect our children from. It's a fantasy movie. It's, uh, it's probably going to be very enjoyable. Positive, enlightened values of atheism should be in our movies and I hope I'm going to go see the movie and I'm going to encourage people to go see the movie and read the books and I hope that New gotcha. Line didn't excise all of that out of the movie. Ellen Johnson, Dr. Ted Bear, thanks for joining us for a fair and balanced debate this morning. All right, Americans are on alert.